Hi guys, I wanted to do some empties right now. My bin is filled up. I have like a lot of random stuff, but I wanted to clear some of this out. I was in such a good mood. And then oh, I had a bang. <laughs> so we had a leak in our kids' bathroom upstairs and we didn't even notice anything. And my parents were visiting and my dad was like, why is the ceiling all bubbling? I'm like, oh no. So we recently had the leak repaired and um, two guys just came to fix the drywall and texture and all of that. And there was a, it was a little more wet than they thought it was. So there was a little more work that they had to do. But I was just talking to Andrew and I'm just like, I hate spending money on stuff like that. Like fixing the things that happen to the house, having to fix them is the worst. I want this video to just be kind of like an organizing, clean out, decluttering video. I tend to do most of my decluttering in the fall time. And I think it's because holiday decorations are coming out and it seems like more stuff is in your house. And I just find the need to purge a lot of stuff around me. And so I was going through literally every nook and cranny of our house, going through decor items. And I'll show you what I'm giving up. So I'm trying to list some of them for just cheap so I could just sell them make a little money off of some of them. Uh, but I think too, cause I've been thrifting a lot and antique shopping, going to some estate sales and it is absolutely so much fun for me. But what happens is I'm getting a few more things in the house. And so I need to be better about getting rid of stuff too. So if I got a new wooden bowl, for instance, I need to look through my stuff and say, which one do I like more? Because I cannot keep a million wooden bowls. And just getting rid of some stuff that we've had for a very long time that doesn't serve us anymore. Um, but yeah, that is kind of where I'm at. Also our craft closet downstairs is out of control, out of hand. I need to really clean that out too. So first up, I have the liquid IV hydration packs. Do not like these guys. I would not recommend these at all. We were using the element ones and they are so much better. Those ones are so much more saltier and just so delicious. These are so sweet. The first ingredient is pure cane sugar. I don't know why I didn't read the ingredients when I bought this, but the element ones are a million times better. I will put those down below, not these. I went through another Mary Ruth's liquid morning multivitamin. These are amazing. I'm gonna try to get this video up soon because today and tomorrow are prime days. They did it again and with my coupon code and their discount, you can get this for like half off and along with all their stuff. So. We drink these every morning and we do a little shot glass full of them and I do a half of a shot glass for all the kids. And in the fall, I add a little extra zinc, a little extra vitamin C, the little tinctures, and we all take those in the morning. Okay, we have the Honest Brand Calm Shampoo and Body Wash. I really like this. I got this for the kids. Nothing bad to say about it. It lasted us a long time. I enjoyed the pump bottle, so I would get that again. I went through one of the traditional medicinals boxes of tea. This is the throat coat. My favorite tea of all time. This is so good. If you like the taste of sweet licorice, you will love this. It's just a tea I have on hand at all times. I buy in bulk on Amazon. There's licorice root, slippery elm bark, marshmallow root, wild cherry, fennel, cinnamon, orange peel. And it's just so good. If I ever feel like I have a scratchy throat coming on, I will take this. Honestly, most days by the end of bedtime with all the kids and reading to everybody, I feel like my voice is hoarse. So this is like a go-to at night, just watching TV at the end of the day. It's such a nice treat. Okay, this, oh, here are the element ones. So I can show you, this is what the pack that I get. You get three citrus salt, three raspberry salt, three orange salt, three watermelon salt. The watermelon salt's my favorite. I went through the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is so good. If you guys want just a luxurious feeling cleansing balm to take off your makeup, highly recommend this. However, it's a little bit more on the pricey side, so keep that in mind. Um, the one, I have another one right now, it's green. I don't know if it's limited edition or what, but it has a really nice scent to it. What I do with this is at the end of the day, when I'm taking off my makeup, I take a little bit of this, I rub it all over my skin first and then onto my eyes and it gets all your makeup off. Typically I just use this and I don't even go into the cleanser and it, it does the job. I went through a Honest Mascara, love this. This is the extreme length one. It comes with a primer on one end and the mascara on the other side. 
I mentioned this in my last video. I think there's a thickening one, which I've not tried, but if you have tried a thickening one, please let me know because uh, I'd like to compare the two of them. And I have already repurchased. I'm using the other one right now. I went through the Hilma Upset Stomach Relief Pills. These are magical little pills. So inside of here, there's chamomile, ginger, artichoke leaf, licorice, and marshmallow root. And if I ever eat too much or something upsets my stomach, I instantly take these and feel so much better so fast. It's such a good thing to travel with too if you're like eating foods you aren't typically used to eating. Highly recommend this. Um, I also have the bloat one, which is great as well. I have the Primally Pure Soothing Serum, uh, CBD Serum. This was great. I absolutely love this. It has just a like soothing herbally scent. I think this is the, sm I think they have a bigger one too, but it just felt so great. At the end of the day, I would cleanse and just do this and that was it. I love doing a facial oil at the end of the day because that's all I do. My only step, I will, two steps. I take my makeup off with some type of oil cleanser and then add a nice luxurious serum and it feels great. And my skin has been really, really good lately. So this one, I would repurchase the one I have right now that I'm using is the Dime, the blue tansy one, which is so good. Okay, I, oh, right here. The Dime blue facial oil, it helps with blemishes. And so I think if you are more blemish prone and you t tend to not wanna use facial oils, this would be a great thing to try and kind of like see how facial oils can really help your skin. It's just so nourishing and the best thing ever. Uh, so yeah, I've used about four of those. I went through the Cali Ray Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint Clean Foundation. I really, really like this. This is in the shade number four. I have another one right now that's a little bit too light for me, but I just use more bronzer. You shake it up. It's um, It says sheer buildable application, vitamin C, blurring illusion, silicone free foundation. It just feels like you have nothing on your skin, yet you do get this nice even tint. And I really enjoyed this, really enjoyed that. Next I have a couple of supplements. I went through the Mary Ruth's men's, or not, I didn't, Andrew did, the men's multivitamins and the kids multivitamins and the extra strength elderberry. This is another thing that I like to add to our little wellness shots in the morning. I'll do a dropper full of that for everybody. And then last in my empties is the Aloha Youth Serum by Hanua Hawaiian Skincare. I actually didn't like this. I mean, it, I have nothing bad to say about it, but it wasn't one that I reached for, excited at the end of the day to use. I, it, it just, I didn't notice much of a difference. I just used it to use it up. So I would not get that again. Are we ready to see the mess? That is this downstairs closet. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> All right, so this has kind of just gotten out of control ever since the decorations have been taken out because I put the bins in here. So I'm gonna try to relocate these to the garage along with our holiday baskets. And yeah, this is just all of our craft supplies that we use for school. Just needs a lot of love, so let's get to it. For all of our crafts I got these from Michaels they're so great so I'm gonna have this be like our play-doh cubby 
right there. I have more Play-Doh. Oh, geez. Over here. Okay. We gotta separate the paints. Trash. This is all Play-Doh. to have this all organized and it just ends up getting like this every time the kids use it so it's just fine leaving it as is. So we're gonna put the play-doh up here. Let's move on to down here in this little area. Um, I usually keep our printer paper down here. I buy it in bulk because we go through quite a lot of paper and then I keep one to two of these in the classroom, but I like to keep our backstop in here. And with like all of our uh, supplies, a lot of these I use our charter funds for all the school stuff. So if you're part of a charter school, they provide you with an allowance of funds to use for school supplies. And sorry, I'm out of breath. You, we get it twice a year and everything has to be approved through the system. And so that's how we are able to get paper and craft supplies and a lot of that. Not all of this is from there, but a lot of it is. And it's just great because instead of getting the money that you'd be getting in a public school, you're getting it to use inside of your house. And then with our charter school, like what we're required to do is we meet with a teacher quarterly. Actually, it's more than that. Um, either we do Zoom or we meet in person, we go over samples and you turn in samples um, throughout the year of what your child's doing. You do testing throughout the year. So there's a lot of other stuff that it entails besides just using money to get stuff. Um, but it is nice because then you kind of are backed by your charter school and it just feels like a little bit more legit for homeschool. So I, I do enjoy doing that. These are just some like files, file folders that I have. And then these I love, I got these in bulk off of Amazon. These are the primary journals by Mead. And they're great because you can have your child like notebook, write something, draw a picture. So those are great to have on hand. We have the ones that we're using right now in our classroom. Okay, so paper is down here. This is all of our craft paper. I have random stuff in here. We've got wax to make candles. And then I've got tape. I want to start keeping tape in the classroom. I've got twine. That goes with our wrapping stuff. Okay, so in here, what I'm going to do is we have this air dry clay. I'm going to put this in with these so we can just consolidate a little bit. We don't have a ton left. These are all the leftover colors. So I'll put, they come in like these little packs. And it's just a fun thing for them to be creative with those in there. I can throw that box away now. We have yarn. Down here we've got random stuff for like parties. These are really nice to have too. All of these legal pads. So I'm actually going to try to squeeze these into here. Let's see if they fit. Yeah. Just so we can have our paper together. There. That's nice. All right. Over here we have glue. So these are all of our glue sticks, which I need to take this out because I need to use this for something. Take a couple of these with me. Glue sticks and regular white Elmer's glue. I have set my sights on a summer evening. All right. Moving up top, so up here we've got some beads. These are all of our liquid paint. This is felt. This is felt. I'm gonna put all of our felt stuff over by the yarn. I feel like that kinda can go together. This is um, kinetic sand. I like to keep that up high. Oh, here's glitter glue. That can go down here with these glue sticks. All right, so up by the paint, we have some paint pens. We also have these uh, liquid chalk things. So I like these all 
that here. And then I also have this thing of acrylic paint, which we use quite often. I use these actually a lot when I'm painting and stuff. Right there. So I'm wondering if I can stick this in here. Okay, actually these are the ones that we already have opened. So I'm gonna put this back up top and I'll leave this down here. At the very top we have yarn like for bracelets. I'm gonna put all the beads up top. And then we have some index cards. These can go down by the paper. And then I have markers in here. I have a lot of markers right now. Four markers. So, and this is all glitter right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mother load of glitter. So we're gonna keep the glitter back there and I'm just gonna stick these markers here for now until we need them. And then I'm gonna stick all of our dot markers up here. So those are a little bit more visible. Actually, I'll put these up here. Moving into this back dark corner, I'm gonna put these pencils. These are my favorite pencils ever. The, what are they called? Ticaronda? That's not what they're called. Ticonderaga? Ticonderaga? I have this tin here. I'm gonna stick those in here. These are all of these like watercolor paints or pigments. I actually prefer to use these myself, not have the kids use them because I think they kind of get wasted, but they're very cool. Um, so for now, I'll stick these up here. And then I have all these, um, like, this was a waste. I don't like these at all. They just don't work well at all. They were cheap. Won't be buying these again. We've got pom-pom balls, these palettes, I'll stick over here. And then down here, let's see, the, oh geez, this is like glitter paper. I'll put this by the felt. These are my favorite types of watercolors. Really, really like these. Actually, let's do this. We'll do our watercolors there. And then this can kind of be like miscellaneous, more twine. That only needs to go gift wrap. So, oh music books classroom and googly eyes can go in there these wooden beads these Mama, can go in here yeah who's can, what's that can talk that's for that's for kids what's it for then for you guys is it for me come on got it i want to look at it okay all right so i got the rest of these in here i'm going to slide these over in this little corner Okay, look how much better we are looking. So we've got beads, we've no. got paint, dot markers, refills of markers and paint and watercolors, washable Crayola paint, tempera paint, paint sticks, <laughs> Play-Doh, mats, miscellaneous craft supplies, craft paper, watercolor paper, glue, Paper? Yes, I can. We've got uh, yarn and the little parlor beads, perler beads. We've got felt paper in here. All right, let me show you guys all the stuff I'm partying ways with down here. This is where Kyla hides out. Hi, Kyla. A lot of just like decor stuff that I just don't use much and I think could find a better home. Here's some stuff up here too. So yeah, I feel like this is a lot of stuff and this gave us a lot more space just with these things. I also just think my style has changed a little bit over the past few years. Um, also just since moving into this house, in our old house, it was much more like farmhouse. And then we moved here just the the natural style of this house is a little bit more ornate with like dark browns and iron work. And so I've kind of just leaned into that. I'm brushing at one's hair right now. And I've also just, here you go, all that looks great. I have just been really into antiques lately. I have fallen in love with antique shopping and buying secondhand. Well, I'm actually gonna end the video here because I'm gonna make dinner for our family, but this was a fun little, 
clean out some stuff, organize video. I hope you guys got some motivation to clear out some space in your house. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. I would love to have you around. I will see you all in my next one.